Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Clinton Lofthouse and you're tuned into photomanipulation.com. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the best way to colour match all your composite elements in Photoshop. And we do this by using curves. Curves is the most powerful feature in Photoshop and I use it in every single image. If you're new here, welcome. We're not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialise in photo manipulation, digital art and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out five videos a week. Let's roll the video, enjoy. So let's get on with the tutorial. So as I mentioned, um, I use curves to do the color matching in my composite images. So what do I mean by color matching? So see this image here, they are two separate um, photographs what are being composited together. One of them has got a different color temperature to the other. The model has a neutral kind of natural light color tone to it and the background is a very bright orange um, stylized background image. So what we need to do is we need to match the colors of the background and the model and I usually do this by matching my elements to the background so every composited element that I bring in I match their color to the background color so how do I do this well this is where the curves adjustment comes in so what I do is I create the curves adjustment so let's just chat a little bit about this so the curves adjustment it comes up and it has a histogram here and it's just like a histogram on a camera so this these are the shadows these are the mid-tones and these are the highlights. You control the manipulation of the histogram by using this line here. So if I click the black point and pull it up, the black, the shadows brighten. If I pull it this way, the shadows darken. And if I go to this side and pull it down, the highlights darken. If I pull it this way, the highlights brighten. And you click in the center, this is your mid-tone. If I put that up, your mid-tones brighten if I pull it down your mid-tones darken. So that's how we match tone. So how do we match colour? Well what we need to do is we need to go up to this section here where it says RGB and you can separate out the different um, colour curves, the colour channels. So it says uh, red RGB, red, green and blue. So we have those but then opposite those we have um, C, M and Y and K which is black but that's not on here. So red, the opposite of red is cyan, green, the opposite of green is magenta and blue, the, oppo the opposite of blue is yellow. So if I pull this one way it turns red, if I pull it the other way it goes cyan. So I will show you in a minute just to um, so you can see it in real time. So that's how you manipulate the, the curve for tone and the colour curve to match your colours. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you in real time how to do it. So first of all we need to make sure this curve adjustment is clipped to our model. So it only affects the model um, layer not the background. So you hold down alt, click in between the curves adjustment and your model layer and it will clip that adjustment to the model so it only affects the model. So the background is orange so we probably want to add some red and some yellow to our model. So let's go into the color curves. Let's go to blue. So the opposite of blue is yellow. So let's pull this to the right. And as you can see, we are bringing some yellow into our model. We need it quite strong, as all this background's quite strong as well. So I've got some yellow in there. And now I'm going to go to, to the red color curve and I'm going to pull this left. There we go. And straight away, our model is blending in with the background. Obviously, we would need to do a little bit more. We would maybe pull down the tone a little bit. So let's do that. So let's go to the curves adjustment. Let's hold down Alt and clip it to the model again. Let's go into our curves. So to play with the darks and the lights of the model, we just keep it on RGB. So let's just pull down the mid-tones a little bit like so. And there, we've played around with the tone a little bit. We don't need to do a massive tonal adjustment with this at this minute. But as you can see, if I turn these off, that was the image before. 
and that was the Im image after the curves color match and it's that simple and this has to be this is how you do your large composites every element that you bring in you have to do this process on them to make them match the color of the background and if you want to change the, the global color later on you can do that by adding a color grade but to start with you just want to match all your elements that you bring in to your background color so let's go over this one more time with a different image so we've got this image here which is this model he's shot in the studio he was shot with a flash there seems to be a, a warmer color tone on him than the background that he is in so let's create a curves adjustment let's hold down alt let's clip it to our model so the adjustment only affects him and nothing else let's go into our curves let's go into our color curves and obviously we want to add some blue in and then maybe some cyan so let's click on the blue color curve let's pull it to the left and as you can see we've got some blue coming in there yep this definitely needs some cyan um, because, because I've done this for a while I can tell by eye what kind of colors need to go in but if you don't do this often it might take a little bit of learning to it but a couple of goes and you'll be flying so let's just go up now up to the red because the opposite of red is cyan so we want to pull some cyan into this image as well so you click on the red color curve and let's just bring that to the right hand side let's try a little bit more like so and there we go it's that simple to color um, match your model images or your whatever your elements are to the backgrounds so that's what less than a minute so let's just click off so that's without the curve adjustment and that's with straight away we've color matched our model to fit the background so I hope you found this valuable I know some people always struggle with matching the color of their elements obviously these images aren't fully finished but this is just how you matched the elements to the backgrounds so I hope this made color matching simple I hope you found it valuable if you did it would be an honor if you could like the video if you could share the video if you wanted to people maybe you think might want to see it and subscribe to the channel we truly appreciate all your support and we love doing these videos and we love all the communication we're having with you guys over messages and in the groups so yeah thanks guys and i will see you next time